Good afternoon. Thank you for being here with me today. I'd like to share with you some bits that I've been lucky enough to find in our local um, charity shops, um, thrift stores, Goodwill, op shops, whatever you call them in your country. Um, here in England, we call them charity shops. So these are the bits that I found um, over several visits. It wasn't all on one day. So um, there's quite a bit here. Um, I'll start with the music sheets. So I've got this music book. It's quite old from the 1930s. Uh, 1933. Um, I think I paid two pounds for that one. But the paper's lovely. It's all naturally aged, so I won't need to tea dye that one. This is a newer one. This is from the 1970s, and I purchased this to put in my, obviously in my Christmas journals. I think this one will need tea dyeing though. It's quite white but it's lots of Christmas carols, so that will definitely be useful. Um, I've bought lots of books, even though every time I go I say I'm not buying any more books. Um, this one I purchased pretty much for this, this image here. I thought this was lovely. As you can see, I've started stripping them down already. They were falling apart, but I've... Um, started to remove the pages and have even used some of them um, but there are lovely images in this book and I think I only paid one pound for this <clears throat> and they would definitely be very useful particularly these as I said which I love for a Christmas journal so that's More Prayers, illustrated by Tasha Tudor. It's a lovely little book. Um, the Observer's Book of Birds, which is always useful. Um, I didn't pay £1 for it. I think I paid one ninety nine, so £2 for that. But I thought it was worth it because... It's got lovely pictures in it. I hope I'm in frame. I've got <laughs> I've got the um, camera quite close to the table, so I've not got a very wide viewing area. Um, Wildflowers at a glance. I really liked this book. Um, and it has lovely illustrations in it. But also, I liked the cover of this one. I don't know if you can see, that's embossed on there. Wild flowers at a glance. I thought that was a lovely cover, so that may become a journal one day. And that, that's Happy Birthday Dad, 3rd of the 4th, 1964. And that one I paid £2 for. <clears throat> Again, this one I purchased for the cover. It's a nice dark olive green. And it's got some embossed images on there. And it says, A Sentimental Journey. Which I thought was a nice, again, would make a nice journal cover. It's got very thick pages. Where's this one? 1911. I don't know if it's quite that old, is it? <clears throat> A Thousand Best Poems. With all good wishes at Christmas, I hope you will find some happiness and delight in this little book. Oh, that's sweet. It's a book of poems, poetry. 
<clears throat> this one I was really happy with. Um, it's the 100 year anniversary edition, so it's not not the original copy, but it's still, it's a printed copy of the original. So it's still got nice thick pages and they aren't glossy, which is good. And um, here I have a page from an old one from the 1970s. And you can see, see the difference them side by side. Oh, that would help if I put the same page up. There we go. So there. And then there. So that's the difference in the pages. But it'll still be very useful. And I think I only paid I paid $1.95 for that. I thought it said $7.95 on it, but when I asked the lady at the till she said $1.95 so I um bit her hand off and bought it. Yes, yeah, so I was very happy with that. This lovely book is from the 1950s and as you can see I've already dismantled it to use in Christmas journals. It's got some really lovely little illustrations in it and there is a picture on every page and it's in this lovely sort of Air Force blue the images are in Air Force Blue, really beautiful. It's a lovely book and I must say I did struggle to tear this apart. 1952, it was already falling apart and I said to my daughter, oh, I think I should fix this book rather than rip it apart. It seems wrong to, to take it apart. And she said, well, if you take it apart, you'll be sharing the book with lots of people. If you fix it, you'll just have it on your shelf. So she's quite right. So, so I have taken it apart and it will be used in my journals. A Christmas Carol. That's just a modern copy, but it's always useful. This one here is an Enid Blyton book. some lovely illustrations in it. <clears throat> Naturally aged pages, which is always nice. One less, one less job making them look old. <laughs> they already look old, so that's lovely. So I was very pleased with that. I think that was, that may have been 50 pence because it's a children's book. I find they're slightly cheaper. This book here I bought again for the illustrations, so it's a nice old, old book. Let's see, I'm trying to see, oh, 1933 for this edition. Oh no, 1950 for this edition. Let's see these illustrations. Lovely muted colours. So I think that will be useful. And that again was 50 pence. 50 pence for that. So beautiful. This is a book I bought just because I used to love reading this to the children. Shirley Hughes, her illustrations are so lovely. So it is a modern book, but it has some lovely little rhyming text in it and beautiful illustrations. I'm sure I will find a use for that one. And if I don't use it, I will just keep it because I, as I say, I really love these books. This one, I don't know this book, but I quite liked the, the pictures in it. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, 
there we go, 50 pence. Such a nice book. Right, I think that's it for the books. Um, I have a map here, an old map, which I've already started cutting into. This was £1.99. It is literally falling apart, as you can see. <clears throat> but it's very... Oh, sorry, I'm wobbling the camera. It's a very lovely old map. Lovely colours. So that will definitely be useful. Some stamps here. I was quite pleased with those. Very lovely. They were £1.75. Just this, it was only £1.50 and I think it's all there, it's the magnetic letters. It looks complete to me, There's, I've sorted out the numbers here because that's what I actually bought it for, for the numbers. So I was very happy to find that. And I bought lots of fabric, which I'll show you show you some of. I don't want to bore you with it. But... <clears throat> oh, first of all, I have this book. It says London Transport Executive. And it's just, all it is, is just a book of writing paper. It's quite a nice, quite a nice colour. So I thought that would be useful. I paid a pound for that, so that was good. And I had to buy this. Now look at the work in that. Someone has sat probably night after night doing this lovely cross stitch and it's ended up cast aside in the charity shop. I thought I could perhaps use, use that for something, maybe a journal cover. I thought that was lovely and that was 99 pence <clears throat> all that work for 99 pence right if you've seen my videos of my bohemian journals you will have seen these peacock feathers i bought these they were two pounds for four of them I was so pleased with them. They are absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that? Really lovely. I'm sure you've seen peacock feathers before, but I was so pleased to get those in the charity shop. And I, would, <clears throat> I was going to say I will definitely use those, but I already have. I've already made use of them, so they're lovely. I was very pleased with them. <clears throat> Couple more rubber stamp, well, silicon stamps there. Sort of a damask pa pattern. I think they were a pound for the two. So that was good. And then, as I said, I have lots of fabric. So I'm going to quickly flick through that and show you. These were all, I think they were 20 pence for a piece. Um, this here looks like old sack, but it's actually 100% pure matka silk. And I have several of those, all in neutral colours. They're rather nice. I was pleased with those and they feel lovely. This one here I thought I could cut up and use pieces on a journaling card. This is lovely. This is linen and it's got some machine embroidery on it. <clears throat> They're not very big pieces. These, you can see compared to my hand, it's not very big. This is... A larger one, probably about a foot square. 
and this one is bigger still this is about 18 inches square it's just a piece of cotton again with machine embroidery on it this is some woven upholstery fabric another piece of woven upholstery fabric this nice thick cotton this is upholstery fa fabric We used to take the mickey out of my daughter for watching haul videos. Uh, she used to watch people unloading the makeup they'd bought or their shopping trip to Primark. And I used to think it was funny that she'd watch that. And now there's me doing a charity shop haul, which is hilarious because at least with my daughter, if she saw something she really liked, she could then go to Primark or the... the um, the shops and buy whatever it was that she'd seen. With this, no one can go and buy these pieces, but I love watching haul videos for charity shops. Look at this lovely fabric. It's so pretty. Yeah, I really love watching them and there's no chance that I can go and buy the things that I'm seeing, but um, I just love watching it. I think it inspires you to think oh if they bought that maybe I could find something like that. I bought this piece of material I thought it was lovely it's um, very thick and it's gold and I thought it was 3 95 but then I got it to the till it was actually 5 95 couldn't read the writing still looks like a three to me but anyway I paid 5 95 you don't like to question it, do you, when you're in a charity shop? So um, I think that's... Oh, no, that isn't everything. Let me show you this bag of jewellery. Now, this was a bag of broken jewellery. So it says Scrap Repurpose Craft Interest. And that was £3. There was more in it than that. I've taken out all the bits that I didn't want to keep. But let me show you the bits that I got. These are what I saw through the bag that drew me to it. These were all on a necklace. So there's five of those. They're really lovely. What's this? So these were all in this bag for three pounds. This here has a broken chain. Oh, excuse that, that's my son playing video games upstairs. And then these little flowers. Very lovely. So there's lots of little useful bits in there that I can use for dangles. And then there was a whole bracelet, it was broken. And it was made up of these, can you see that? These were all strung together. And as I say, it was broken. And I've taken them off. There's actually, I think, 50, about 50 of these lovely silvery tone end caps. So that's the end of my haul from the, from the charity shop my daughter is going to think this is hilarious that I've done this anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoy watching all of your haul vi videos um, and if I go to the shops again which I'm sure I will um, I'll show you what I get next time I hope you've enjoyed it see you soon bye bye